They're <laughs> here. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Hi, Facebook. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> so what's going on? Girl, I was thinking about job hunting at over 40. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but go ahead. <laughs> uh, and how hard it is for uh, men and women to get jobs after the age of 40. Okay. Because they're so, people discriminate. And you know, you they're not supposed to, but they do. Right. They want someone who's going to come in at 20 years old and stay for 20 years. Right. And what they don't understand is, is if someone comes in at 40, they can, they still have 20 years left. Exactly. Or more. Right. Or more, yeah. Right. So, I don't understand the prejudice and the ageism that they're using against uh, people who are older. Right. I, mean, I don't get it. You can slip through the cracks because when I got out of truck driving... In other words, I told my um, self, I don't want to be a truck driver anymore, you know, so I wanted to be at home because when you're a truck driver, for me, I was out like 30, 60 days, you know, at yeah. a time. And when I came back, <clears throat> I probably was only home for like five, seven days. How are you enjoying your abode, so to speak. Right. You right. Know, so, and I didn't like that. And I decided to go ahead and look for a job. Now, like I said, there are some that are going to slip through the cracks. I did get hired at Walmart. But right. check this out. <laughs> when I got hired at Walmart to do the self checkout, I was supposed to. I guess, watch over those who did the self-checkout or whatever. Right. And uh, and they paid pretty good, and they got good benefits. Don't knock Walmart, because they got good benefits, you know. But uh, during that time, they decided to put a freeze on the hiring. Yeah. So they yeah. hired me, and then they called me and said, we can't hire you right now because... Uh, Walmart put a freeze on it. Right. So, girl, I was upset. You know, but uh, I, uh, I'm not worried about it because I still had a savings. When, when it happened, I wasn't worried about it. I still had a saving. And then, plus, I had already started up my store. Yeah. So, which I'm still working on, you know. So, oh my gosh, girl. But I didn't get discriminated at the time when I got hired. But you knew they were going to freeze. Yeah. Know? So, so yeah. was it discrimination or was it right. not? Right, exactly. And another thing, too, is, is like you mentioned, a lot of people who are over 40 who are having a hard time getting jobs are starting their own businesses. And then uh, a lot of the businesses are online, some are offline, you know, but they're, they're just trying to make a living like everybody else. Right. You know, who's got a job. Right. You know, it's, my thing is they shouldn't have to sacrifice so much to, to get, to get work. Right. Right. And then they wonder why we have so many homeless people. Well, you're not hiring nobody. <coughs> Speaking of homeless. Girl, I saw a news uh, report on um, one of the networks. It's so many rats out here. Oh, my gosh, girl. It's a rat infestation. Why? Oh. Because the city of Los Angeles, I'm just going to talk about the city of L.A. 
they don't do what they need to do to keep it in order. Right. To you keep know, so rats away. And girl, these rats look like big A cats. Yeah. Yeah, I believe And it. dogs. You know, <laughs> these suckers are huge. It's like, man. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Girl. Man. And that's sad. So it's a bunch of homeless rats out there. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all like, anyway, I think a lot of of the people who are starting businesses, you know, God bless them because Amen. they deserve, they deserve something, you know, if, if these companies are going to keep discriminating, what else can they do? Right. Nothing else they can do. And right. you know, the, the city and the counties that they live in, they're not going to help them because, yes. you know, to the city and the county, well, you can work. Well, yeah, I could work if I could get hired. Right, right, right. So, I think that's wrong. I totally agree. I totally agree. It's totally unfair. Man. You know, so what, in order for you to, I guess, live righteously, so to speak, you have to start at a job at 20, stay at that job yeah. 20 or 30 years in order to yeah. get to reap the benefits, you know. Right. Instead of working, like, a, like you know, your situation uh, where you, you had to stop trucking. Well, there should have been a job available for you, not just Walmart. You know what I'm saying? But you Walmart got good benefits, so that's why I chose it. <laughs> they do. They do. <laughs> but... You were telling me how, uh, er earlier you were telling me how you got your kids to eat vegetables. I wanted you to tell that story so people would uh, have some ideas on how they can get their kids to eat vegetables. Okay, so when you know, I mean, when your kids are like around, let's just say 5, 11, 13, whatever, you know, they're around that age. They don't like that. They don't like that green stuff. You know, that green right. stuff is, mm, that's nasty. <laughs> you know what I mean? No flavor, nothing. You know what I mean? So, I was watching uh, Emerald. Emerald Lagasse. Anyway, I was watching his little TV show that he had on. And um, he said uh, that he would make spinach. And then with the spinach, he would crumple, uh, he would fry some bacon, and then he would crumple it and put it over the spinach. You know, mm. ooh, that's a good way because it's really the green color that they don't like. You know? Right. And I, uh, I saw that, and I was like, okay, let me try that. And sure enough, my kids eat spinach now. Wow. Just because I started sprinkling little bacon over it. Now, yeah. you don't have to do uh, just spinach. You can do green beans yeah. or peas. Peas are sweet, but not too many people like peas. I don't think my sister likes peas. You know, but... Oh, yeah. Right. So, but peas, peas the same way. Just sprinkle some bacon over it. You know. Yeah. Give it a little... The <laughs> you know, and then how um, broccoli, you can put cheese. If, you do, if your kids don't like cheese or are allergic to cheese, they can have, um, not allergic, but if they don't like uh, cheddar cheese, try uh, Alfredo sauce. Right. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That would be really good. Yeah. So. And, uh, but broccoli is my favorite vegetable. Broccoli and corn. Right. That's it. Right. I know. I know. Oh, my God. Ooh. Shame on you. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm getting my greens and my yellows. That's all I need. 
<laughs> but she still likes bell peppers. Yeah, so I love bell peppers. You like onions. You yeah. Know? So there, there are vegetables that you do like. And if you wonder where the vitamins come from, they come from the vegetables. You don't have to have the supplement. I cannot stand supplemental vitamins. Oh, my God. Yeah. Those big old horse pills. Yeah. You know, I'm I'm at the part where you have to say, and then we're going to fly in, and then mm, I have to eat the bum, gummy bird. <laughs> gummy, gummy worms. <laughs> I said gummy birds. But anywhere, gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> mm, so, no, I don't like those big old horse pills. I can't stand them. <laughs> well, yeah. What about housewarming parties? Do we have to have them? For me, no. Uh -huh. But... You know, you got some folks out there, and I can think of a lot of people. I just won't mention any names. But you got some people out there that like to have housewarming parties. And their reason is because they can get free stuff. But I'm not going to like everything that you bring me. Yeah. So that's the point. Not to mention, I got to do all the work. I got to yeah. clean. I got to cook. I got to provide a service for you, you know, I'm doing all this work for this free, cheap S-H-I-T. Yeah, and then on top of that, you got to entertain them. Exactly. You got to make sure that they're happy the whole time they're in your home. Exactly. I think, I think personally, if I move into a new house and you want to get me something, I shouldn't have to throw you a party to get me something. Why don't you just drop it off? <laughs> right. Look, and leave. <laughs> <laughs> just right. put it on the front porch. <laughs> right. You don't even have to knock. <laughs> no. You know, just skirt out. <laughs> skedaddle, skedaddle. Right. Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel the same way, so, because, like I said, we moved in here um, in October, and people are saying that we should have a housewarming, but I'm not ready for all that work right now. Have you ever had, I, I'm, I know I'm getting off topic. Okay, go ahead. But I don't like mushrooms that well, but I've never tried a fried mushroom. Like the breaded kind, where they fry it up. Oh my gosh, yes, Drea, and they are so delicious. Yeah. I'm sorry oh. that you haven't tried it, but they are so delicious. Oh my gosh. I have tried fried zucchini, um, and uh, fried. What is that other vegetable? <laughs> Rock. Have you ever, ever, ever fried uh, broccoli or cauliflower? No. Oh, my no. God. You got to try it. Look, let me tell you. When I first had my second job, that was at Carl's Jr., and I used to do fried zucchini. Uh -huh. That's what made me start frying the other vegetables. So oh, okay. So they are so delicious. Oh my gosh, Drea, you gotta try it. You know, with the way that um, technology has moved us forward, um, you don't even have you don't even have to use oil to fry anything anymore. You can get an air fryer, and uh, so you're not feeding your kids greasy food. Right, right, right. So that to me is cool. I wish um, I could eat. Um, like, um, what are those called? Artichokes? And, um, what do you call it? Asparagus. Oh, asparagus. asparagus. I want to try asparagus. But people say you it, it has a funny taste. No, 
It doesn't. And I'm going to tell you why. Our grandmother, she made us asparagus when we were younger. Uh huh. If you got real butter, now I'm not talking about that fake margarine or imperial or whatever, imperial or whatever. I'm talking about the real butter. If you steam the asparagus like you should and then boil the, um, heat the butter up, real butter. Season it up real good. Now I'm not talking about a whole lot of salt. No salt. Just maybe some garlic salt or powder. You know, because it already has salt in it unless you get the unsalted. You right. know? So, but, oh my God, you would love it. And that's what? why I like asparagus. What does it taste like? What, can, what do you, can you compare it to? A fresh vegetable. That's all I can say. Oh, okay. <laughs> a fresh vegetable. But it's delicious. And, Dre, you would like it. You like crab, right? Yeah. And it took us a minute to start liking that. So you would like the asparagus. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, I just wanted to get some more vegetables mentioned in, uh, <laughs> mentioned because... I, I just felt like a lot of parents out there could use some ideas on, um, you know, fixing vegetables up on for their kids, you know, especially nowadays. And you, if you have an air fryer, you got it made in the shade. Right. And then not to mention, since you brought that up, that little uh, statement of uh, carrots. I know you don't like carrots. I know. Yeah. But check yeah. this out. No. I could give you a recipe for carrot pie. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. It's, it's a bomb and all and pretty much just as delicious as a pumpkin pie or a sweet potato pie. Yeah. It's yeah. Delicious. You know what? Next month, folks, we're gonna start giving out recipes. And and Lily's gonna give out a recipe for her carrot pie. So, and we, if you try any of our recipes, we'd be happy to hear about it. And you can let us know how, how you hey, like it. Hey, love that. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos. If you are, uh, have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Have a great Thanks. one. Bye.